What's going on, guys? Welcome back. Today, we're going to check out top five reasons why you should not upgrade to the iPhone 13, any iPhone 13, the mini, the regular, the pro, or the pro max. These are my opinions. That's all. Top five reasons to not upgrade. We're going to start right now. Coming in at number one, the iPhone 12 lineup. Look, the iPhone 12 lineup, still a beast of a phone, a powerhouse. The A14 chip will be relevant and fast for years and years to come. The good thing about this, it's not much different than the new phones, right? This 13 year, this, this lineup of phones, basically a 12S, minimal upgrades on this lineup of phones for you. So you can get the iPhone 12 at a very discounted price right now, even on Apple's own website. If we look at the website, you can see here, they still advertise a 12 and 12 mini for sale on their website. $599 is your starting price point, and then it goes up depending on what model you get, depending on what storage you get for your phones. And you can see if we scroll down here on their website, they do compare the 12 and 13 side by side, $100 price difference, right? So save yourself $100 bucks because if you look at what we have here, the only difference is really... A little bit better battery life on the iPhone 13. So if that matters to you, you know, this might be a different story. And the other difference, the A14 Bionic on the 12 and the A15 Bionic on the 13. But day to day, doing your daily tasks, doing everything that you need to do, you are not going to notice a difference between the two phones when it comes to, you know, the basic things we use a phone for. Even gaming, the A14 Bionic is still insanely powerful and it will be for a very long time. So save yourself some money, get the iPhone 12 or the 12 mini directly from Apple. And if you want the Pro or the Pro Max, you can get them used. Amazon Refurbished has them. You can go on eBay and find them anywhere from $900 for a 256 gigabyte 12 Pro Max all the way down to, let's see what they have here, 787, this one's bidding at. So you can find really good deals for an iPhone 12 Pro or 12 Pro Max in the used market. Check out Swappa, right? There's tons of options on here. But the iPhone 13 compared to the iPhone 12, it's not very big when it comes to what differences we have between the two. Now, reason number two, there is no need to upgrade the 120 hertz adaptive refresh rate on this phone. Look, I do notice it very slightly. It's not noticeable like the other phones that we have that are running 120 hertz, like the phones, like the Galaxy Fold 3 or the Flip 3 or any phone like that, even 90 hertz on some phones, you can really tell a difference. On the iPhones, you cannot really tell a difference between 60 hertz and 120 hertz now that's not a bad thing right we, we've talked about this before we talked about it the other day on the stream it's a good thing apple's ios and their software are so buttery smooth we've been saying that for years and years to come so 120 hertz it's not that much of a difference you can notice it right this is a little more jumpy if you know you want to describe it in a way that you can it is smoother on the 120 hertz display but noticeable no not really you give somebody this phone and this phone and compare them and have them use it for a day or two they're not going to know what the heck you're talking about when it comes to 120 hertz look how smooth that is on the iphone 11 still buttery smooth it's not jumping around you're going to notice it on other devices in the samsung lineup on the android side of phones more so than you would on an iphone just buttery smooth 60 hertz or 120 like look at that like they are not much different on a day-to-day -day basis so if you are just looking to upgrade because of finally getting 120 hertz on the iphone 13 series well it's only the pro and the pro max so another reason to get a 12 mini or a 12 if that is one of the reasons you wanted to upgrade and you don't care about it, just go for the 12 and 12 mini. But if you want 120 hertz, you're not really going to notice that much of a difference. Now, the other thing about 120 hertz, you can't turn it on and off. It is adaptive. It's going to go back and forth. How are you going to know if you're using it? You're never going to know. You're never going to know if it's even on. If you are using it, it's going to jump around all the way down to 10, all the way up to 120, depending on what you are doing on your phone. I wish there was... A toggle button to turn it on and off 
or I would just wish that it would be available to just use 120 hertz all the time. That would affect the battery life, but I'm okay with that because the battery life on this series of phones is really good. And we'll talk about that. I'm going to do a top five reasons why you should upgrade to this lineup of phones in a future video. Oh. So the third reason you shouldn't upgrade to this year's phones is the leaks and rumors for the iPhone 14. And I know we are a year away, but say you're somebody that's, you know, you upgrade through your carrier, right? And carrier works every two years, right? For the most part, some are every year, but mostly every two years, you're going to be able to trade in your phone. You don't want to get locked into something knowing, at least we think we know, what next year's iPhone 14 will be, right? Some of the leaks and the rumors... And it's very hard to trust leaks and rumors still. But if, if they are true and you upgrade to this phone and then you're stuck in a contract, when next year's iPhone comes out, you're going to be disappointed because next year's iPhone looks amazing. The redesign will still be the same, right? The squared off edges, I believe, will still be there, but no notch next year. And I believe 120 hertz will be on all of these phones across the whole lineup of phones but no notch on an iphone take my money day one so if the leaks and rumors are true and that's a big if if they are true no notch next year on an iphone so if you upgrade now you're going to miss out on that unless you just have the money to buy an iphone every year these are very expensive so the third reason not to buy this iphone next year's iphone might be incredible so just keep that in mind now, the fourth reason why you don't need to upgrade to this year's model, unless you are a videographer or, you know, a professional in this industry, is cinematic mode. Look, cinematic mode is very cool. You could do some very cool things with this. And it can shoot with a shallow depth of field and automatically add elegant focus transitions between subjects. So you're going to get that bokeh effect, and it will automatically transition between, say you have like this right here. Say you have some earbuds in the front, right? And you kind of move your camera up to put the camera in focus. It's gonna easily and smoothly transition to the camera. And then if you go back to the earbuds, it's gonna transition back to the earbuds all on its own. You don't have to do anything. You don't have to touch the screen. You can touch the screen and it will do it as well, but it will do it on its own. And it is very cool. But for most people, you're not going to use this on a day in and day out basis. If you're a professional, this is a really cool thing. It does work fairly well and I'm sure it will improve over time, but it is the only smartphone that lets you edit the depth of field after you shoot. So you can edit it after you shoot, which is very cool. And you can use the wide telephoto or the true depth camera in cinematic mode. So it is a cool addition to this year's lineup, but it shouldn't be the reason that you upgrade unless you are a professional when it comes to videography or you just want to be, you know, that person on social media that uploads really cool content like that. So, but don't let that be the sole reason you upgrade, especially from say the 12 series of phones or even the 11 series of phones. Those shoot fantastic video. iPhones have always had the best video. We'll see moving forward if that continues. A really cool addition, but not a reason to upgrade. And the fifth and final reason where you don't need to upgrade is the price. These are expensive phones. I have the 256 gigabyte Graphite 13 Pro Max here, and it's pricey. I paid 1100 bucks for this phone, and after taxes, almost $1,200. Now, there are some crazy deals where you can trade in a phone and get these for fairly cheap. So if you can do that, no problem. Go ahead and do that. But, you know, if you're just paying for these out of your pocket, they're expensive. And again, I go back to the older phones, the 12 lineup of iPhones, the, even the 11 series of iPhones. I still have the iPhone 11 right here. This has been one of my daily drivers for the past year. And I have no issues with this phone. It still works really well. And you can buy this phone brand new for around 500 and used for like 300 to 250 dollars. So keep that in mind. You don't have to go out and spend a lot of money because iPhones, I said this in a tweet the other day, I talked about it in the live stream, iPhones are great phones, but they're boring. And we say that it's good and bad when we say that, but I can get the exact same experience on the iPhone 11 that I can on the iPhone 13 Pro Max, right? Slight differences. We talked about the 120 Hertz on here, but still this phone you saw side by side, still buttery smooth. You know, this will have a better camera, 
but video quality on the iPhone 11 is still fantastic. And the 11 Pro Max is still a beast of a phone and will be for a very long time still. So, all right, guys. So, look, these are my top five reasons why you shouldn't upgrade to the new iPhone lineup of phones. You know, just my opinion. You can do what you want. Feel free. And if you get a new phone, I'm excited for you. I'm happy for you. But I'm just saying you don't need to to have a really good experience in the iPhone ecosystem. Plenty of other options out there where you can save a buck and still get the same experience. But other than that, guys, I will be coming back with a top five video on why you should upgrade to the iPhone 13 lineup of phones. But that's it, guys. Hit that like. A sub would be much appreciated. I'll be back real soon, guys. Peace.